morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me today out here in the vegetable garden. You know, I just love these sun gold cherry tomatoes. I have them growing under the arch. And I just can't resist eating them. They're so tasty and delicious. And, you know, that's one plant that I would really encourage you to plant out in your garden is these sun gold cherry tomatoes. Well, anyhow, it's a beautiful day here at the end of August. It's nice low humidity. It's even kind of cool outside today. I was able to put on my my overalls and so I'm really enjoying having them on here but uh, yeah it's a nice sunny day but anyhow today I wanted to go harvest my Malabar spinach and this is what it looks like these are just beautiful green leaves and it makes a great spinach substitute so thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden So I live here in Pennsylvania Zone 6, and I have this pack of seeds. This is the Malabar spinach seeds. I ended up buying these from an Ace Hardware locally. In fact, I get a lot of my seeds from there. I get them also from home centers. Uh, I do occasionally order some online, but, uh, you know, I planted these right after our last frost date, which is May 15th. I direct sow these out in the garden over there on my garden structure, but uh, yeah, we just love this Malabar spinach. It's a great spinach substitute. It, you know, it, it grows all summer long, which is nice because your normal spinach, at least here in, in our area, it bolts, you know, once the heat comes. And so, you know, we use this spinach here in our, uh, in our sauces. I make, I can my spaghetti sauce and you know, we use uh, the leaves in, in the sauce, and you don't even really know what's in there. We blend it all up and, you know, just add some extra nu nutrition to your sauce. We use it in our smoothies and even in our stir fries and salads, so it's really handy to have. But, you know, behind every seed pack here, it does give you some helpful information. Here it says it's a climbing spinach. It's a gorgeous combination of dark green leaves and a burgundy vines and bud set sets this wonderful variety apart from the crowd. An attractive alternative for traditional spinach in your summer garden. Also known as Malabar spinach, this beauty makes a great salad. And you would want to sow these seeds around a quarter inch deep and then thin them to about 12 inches apart. You also want to provide a good six to eight hours of sunlight. And so I have my wife's smaller, longer burger basket. So why don't you follow me along and we'll go harvest some of this beautiful, tasty Malabar spinach. So it's kind of nice I'm out over here in the shade. This one big tree is blocking the sun. And so, uh, yeah, so this is my Malabar spinach that I have growing up the side of my outdoor garden structure. This trellis that I provided, it's probably about 26 inches wide by maybe eight feet high. It's this very basic, simple frame. And then I just stapled some chicken wire that I had behind it. and. Uh, I did tie this with some twine, this vine as it was growing up the trellis. And right alongside uh, the Malabar spinach on the corner here, I have my delicious and tasty and another one of my sun gold cherry tomato plants growing. So why don't we take a look 
for a closer look and see how this uh, beautiful Malabar spinach is growing. Good morning, Bailey. How are you, my boy? And you can see how it wants to vine out and go different places. Some people have commented in the past that it really grows wild in their area, but here, once the frost hits it, it, it kills the plant. So, to me, it doesn't really grow that bad here. But it's just working its way right up the trellis, also into my outdoor garden shower, and over to the side here. It's also growing inside the shower stall some. You can see it down at the floor. And it's working its way up the trellis here. So it's very prolific in this area. You know, one of my favorite things to do out here in the garden is eat my vegetables right in my backyard as I'm walking around. But what I like doing is taking one of these Malabar spinach leaves and then taking a sun gold cherry tomato and making a little wrap out of it and then just eating the whole thing. And so I kind of just eat the whole thing. And I'll just put the tomato inside and wrap it up and and just eat both of them combined. I think it makes a great combination. This Malabar spinach, it's, it's a little on the crunchy side. I think some people will like it and some some won't. You know, my sister was over here. She loved the taste of it. My wife likes the taste. I mean, it's an okay taste, but I really like it for its nutritional value. And, uh, you know, you put some good dressing on it and it tastes fine. So anyhow, why don't I grab my basket and we'll start harvesting some of these beautiful Malabar spinach leaves. We also like adding these to our green smoothies we have every day. You know, we put in the smoothies, we put in like Swiss chard, some kale leaves, we'll put in some Malabar spinach. We also put in some of the leaves from the sweet potato vine because they're also edible. And, uh, you know, so the smoothies are full of nutrition. There's a lot of different options you can put in your smoothies. We put an apple in there to sweeten it up and everything. You also want to try to harvest the, the larger leaves first and you know most of these these uh, leaves and all nothing seems to bother them you know which is an, another nice thing uh, no bugs or pests at least here in Pennsylvania zone 6 has has bothered them and so I just want to pick me a few more leaves here I mean, like, here's one that's eaten part of the leaf, maybe a, a slug or something, but, you know, no real harm done. You can certainly just uh, eat the leaf. You know, that's one thing about organic, growing organic, is you may get some bug holes in them, but 
nevertheless that that's fine you know the great thing is that we don't use any type of pesticides here in our plant smart living gardens well, anyhow I think I pretty much got enough leaves for for today and maybe even into tomorrow well anyhow I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the garden harvesting this beautiful and tasty Malabar spinach. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And you can also visit us at plantsmartliving.com. And there you can learn more about gardening and also how you can reclaim your health by adopting a whole food, plant-based, vegan lifestyle. Well, anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.